Okay, so this is going to be a quick video on how to detailed strip and assemble the Remington Model 740 uh, Woodsmaster. I looked on YouTube to try to find, you know, instructional videos on how to strip this gun and there was nothing adequate. So I decided to do it myself and I'm going to put together this quick video to help out other people who are trying to, uh, to detail strip this weapon. So first off, she is clear, no mags, no nothing. This gun hasn't been fired in well over 40 years I'd say. So first up, remove this nut. There's two sets of threads on it, so it'll go so far, it'll loosen up, come out a little bit, and then another set of threads. Like I said it's a it's a long bolt and it's a, it's quite a few threads on it. There we go. Put that off to the side. Next off comes the hand guard. Put that off to the side. Okay, so then you're left with um, the barrel and your gas assembly, I guess, and your, your springs uh, and your rod. So in order to pull those things off, you need to pull this pin out right here. Just a sec here. Pull this pin out right here. It'll be hard to come out if it's full of uh, carbon and junk, but this has been cleaned so much that uh, mine just pops right out now. Okay, so once that's out, you can grasp this, pull it to the rear, or pull it, yeah, pull it to the rear, I guess. Um, you're gonna pull this piece here There you go, it loosens up. Lift it up a little bit. She'll come off, trust me. Um, lift up on that, and she'll come off. Your rod will come out, then your spring, which was in here, coiled up around the rod, will come out. Okay, so once you get it this far, next up would be to remove your barrel. So this uh, this nut here, I have to put a tool in there to uh, to rotate it down. There you go. Once this nut comes off, you hit it off the side. Now your barrel's free to come off. Give it a couple of little jibs, little flicks, she'll come. After rotate it to the side, so that she slides out. Just like that. And you can place your barrel assembly down. Okay, next up, your slide, your bolt, 
all that still remains with inside the gun. Uh, next up, we'll remove the trigger mechanism. Two small pins, this one there and one there. They just uh, they just pop out. Just put a little bit of a not much force, just a little bit. Okay, pull the action forward slightly just to free up the, uh, the mechanism. I rotate it kind of front piece out first, or now yeah, the rear piece out first. She should just slide right out on you. It's a uh, it's your basic kind of shotgun style. Uh, trigger mechanism pretty simple um, easy to clean that's her drop that down to the side and so far that's it and we'll now carry on with Move, removing the uh, the uh, actual bolt itself. Uh, as you can see, uh, there's no real way to pull the bolt out, forward or back with your uh, with your uh, cocking handle there. So it's gonna have to be removed. I'll show you with the help of a flashlight. There's a tiny pin. Right in there. So a tiny small little push pin. I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not. Um, maybe if I drop it down a little bit. Anyway, right there is a tiny little push pin. You have to move this plate around. You can see it once you move the plate over it that it just gives you enough room to remove that that push pin and then your rod slides out. Remove the push pin by pushing it in and taking it out from the bottom. That little plate will not allow you to move it the other way. It'll get jammed up underneath and you'll be in a world of hurt trying to get back out. So push it from the top down. Um, I tend to use a tiny, tiny little screwdriver. Set this up so that you can see it. Grab my flashlight here. I just place the screwdriver right on the pin. See it right there on the pin. It's my job. I'll take care of that, just give me one second. All right, sorry about the interruption there, just had to uh, sort the dog out. Um, again, small, tiny little screwdriver, place it on the pin, right there, and a couple of taps from a, from a tool. You'll see, you'll feel it moving. You either have to have bifocals or really good eyes to see this too, by the way. There she goes. 
when she falls out the bottom or you can just tap it out a little bit and then with a piece of, or a pair of vice grips or a, you know those pliers or something just reach in and uh, pull it out it's a tiny pin doesn't take much to get lost it's uh just watch it hold on to it once that uh once that slides out I'll show you the bottom here this is that's pretty much where the pin came out of right here put it in there so that'll free up your uh, your handle to come out that comes out drop to the side and now your uh, your parts are free to come out I like to flip the gun upside down and just work the parts gently moving them along the rails their own little sliders their own little rails slider on out all the pieces together and place your uh, receiver down it's a little I'm not quite sure what it is but it's a little piece of metal it's kind of useless in my eyes really but and it kind of binds things up but it's a must I guess uh, then you have your bolt assembly and your bolt obviously comes into two pieces has a little pin in it, pin falls out, holds the, the bolt part in, and then you also have your little spring inside. Um, there's another pin here to remove the actual uh, firing pin. Whether or not you want to take that out or not. I don't think it's necessary honestly you can inspect the firing pin easily without taking it out you can clean it there's tons of space in there to clean it um, no real need same with the uh, same with the extractor up here there's another pin up here right here you can push that pin through and you can remove your extractor I really don't see a need though it's easily to clean there's tons of space in there you can get any tool in around there clean it out so uh, whether or not you want to pop that little pin out it's up to you I didn't bother but it's there and if you if you want to give her <laughs> um, okay putting the bolt back together throw your uh, throw your spring back on your uh, firing pin this little uh, this slide pin here only goes one way. That side is for your uh, your cocking handle, so it's obviously not going to go in there. So it has to go in in this side. Um, I just rotate it around so that this little wonky groove spot here in the bolt head, in the bolt face, is facing this pin, and then the pin just slides into place. That's her. She rotates. That doesn't take much to follow out that pin. It can easily just follow by holding it upside down. So just be careful when you have it. Uh, you don't want to, uh, like I said, you don't want to drop it. And that's uh, that's pretty much it for detail strip. That is everything that can come off it, except for the extractor slide, which is on the inside of the receiver in here. Um, it's a push pin from the top. It just pushes the pin out. It's just a pain in the ass to get back in. There's no real need to take it out. It's uh, it's really easy to clean. It's really and it stays really. Uh, you can hear it jiggling around in there. It's uh, doesn't take much. There's not, not much carbon or binding on that at all. So, um, okay. So then, when I go to reassemble it, I like to prop the back up a little bit just to uh, have a nice sturdy uh, kind of how it's sitting there, just so it's nice and sturdy. So I just try to find something to. Uh, to prop the back up on. Which can be this candle here it works fine. Okay, there you go. Now everything goes back together the exact same way it came apart, right? So that slides back in this way. There's a groove on the bottom of the bolt right here for this piece. 
you can see how it kind of like fits together there. Shall go, just got to finesse I like to say. It just takes a little bit of finesse. Once that's there, don't forget your little plate. It sits on like this, on the side of your bolt, All right? Right on the side of the bolt, like that. And it should all slide together in kind of harmoniously. <laughs> you just have to be careful. Everything has its own little spot. Everything has its own little slot to slide into. All right, the bolt will slide into the bottom recess. These two arms will slide into its own recess and your useless tin plate, I like to call it, has its own recess. So, and they all, like I said, they all slide in together. And you'll know once they're in, because you can just feel it. It's just, there, there, they're all in. It's as easy as that. Doesn't take much. Just a couple of little, just a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of kind of fingering along. Like I said, they all have their own little recesses. They all have their own uh, little tracks that they go on. And that's there. Next up, we put your uh, cocking handle back on. So, I'm grabbing the cocking handle. Make sure it goes the right proper way, which would be this way. Slides into its own little recess, just like that. It'll only go so far, and it'll get hung up. Okay, and again, the small little pin goes in from this side. Okay, so I like to take the pin, in a set of nose needle nose pliers small set of needle nose pliers and I like to work it down inside and just get it started you can feel it almost when it kind of sinks into the recess you can feel it there it is right there it literally just just sits in not even an eighth of an inch grabbing a just a punch tool or a screwdriver with a flat tip on it uh, just line it up Give it a couple taps. You can feel it moving in. Tap it down until it sits flush. Just tap it in until it sits flush like it is right now. You can inspect this side. See it's just to the end of the top, just where it should be. Right there, and that is it for that. It looks hard, looks kind of, you know, little wonky, tiny little pieces, and it can get frustrating, but the more you do it, the easier it gets, and uh, it's actually not that bad, if you take time with it. Um, from here, we will go ahead and replace the uh, the barrel assembly. Pick that up again, slide it in here like this, like so. Give it a twist. Slide it into place, like so. She will go home, there you go, just like that. When installed, take your nut, if you can see that, it has like a beveled edge on it, put that in towards the gun, there's a recess in the actual barrel itself for that beveled edge, and turn your nut, screw it on. Uh, 
grab the tool. Let's tighten it. It doesn't have to be wrenched on too tight. When I took it apart the first time, it came off finger tight. So whether or not it did that on its own or is this worked off as, you know, time kind of went on, I'm not quite sure. But Okay, next up is a uh, it's a spring and rod kind of... Uh, it's a combo. You've got to kind of do both of them at the same time, I guess. Uh, so the rod goes on this side. That'll slide down. And then your spring goes over the rod on this side and slides into its little home there. Okay, this is where it gets kind of tricky. Because this spring has quite the tension on it. So as you build up tension, push your rod down so that it kind of sits home, kind of. Like I said, see it kind of has its own, does what it wants. <laughs> I just bring that rod back a bit, put some more down on the rod, hold it steady, add a little bit more, hold it steady again until you get it so far, and then push your rod assembly down, get more on the spring. said it takes three hands almost to do but it'll go If it doesn't go the first time, just uh, pull it back, work it with your fingers again. Just slide the bar forward again. Just takes a little bit of finessing with it, it will go in. There we go. Okay, so once you get the burr and the rod in, everything's just gonna sit into place. Then you have to put your retainer clip back onto the burr. When this is all seated, you can pull this back and it won't spring out on you. Just make sure you have a good handle on it because it is uh, 
there's some good pressure on that spring. Your retainer clip, place it back on the, uh, the rod. Place it back on the rod, rotate it under, slide it forward, it will sit in, under pressure let your action go back forward, and then your retainer is back on. And then you take your pin for the retainer and slide her back into place. like that. Okay, then your sorry slides back on. Then your nut with many threads. Start to rotate that on. Once it goes past the first set of threads, it'll move in again onto your second set of threads. And that's that for that. Once that's on, tightened up, you'll take your trigger mechanism, ensuring your action is fully forward, which it should be. Just place this back on the weapon. She should just slide right into place. Like I said, she should just slide right into place. Then replace your pins. Push that one. And the second pin. There's that one. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a full detail strip and reassembly of the Woodmaster 740 30 odd six. 60 plus year old gas operated rifle. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button, sure, make some comments, whatever. Um, hopefully this makes it a little easier for the uh, for the next guy who uh, I'd like to take part his uh, his family heirloom or his rifle that passed down to him. So uh, happy hunting. Thanks for watching.